Hey, today I'm going to share with you 30, a little over 30 things that sold to make me about $650 in about a week. So these are the kinds of things that I am selling. I call them bricks and mortar. Bricks are the bigger 20 plus dollar uh, profit items and the mortar are those smaller profit items that fill in to make a nice solid house. So let's dive into the things that sold. First up is this decal. I don't have any money into this. It was a gift and it sold. It took an offer of $6 on this item. I've had it for quite a while, but I never, there was nothing, I, I wasn't going to put it on anything. So I decided that I would sell it. We're downsizing a lot at home. So there's a lot of stuff that we are getting rid of that I am picking through and selling now to make some money back. Next is a shirt. I bought this shirt for a dollar at a garage sale with some other, you know, t-shirts similar to this style. Uh, I had them up for a while and decided that, you know, we're really trying to downsize. We're even downsizing some of our inventory and I put these on sale and I took an offer of $8 for this, or it was on sale for eight, $8. This is a Ray Dunn uh, note, like a post-it note holder. I believe I got this for about a dollar or two at a garage sale and I took an offer of $8 on this. Ray Dunn stuff just doesn't sell for me like, like I wish it would. This was a unique find. It looked like a, like a glass, like almost homemade, right? Where it was like the sand art that had been, and I took a chance on it. I paid maybe a dollar or less at a garage sale for it, but I thought it was kind of cool. And I took uh, an $8 offer. I think I have a sale going on. That's a 20% off. So yeah, it, um, yeah, $8 on that. Yeah. 20% off. I have a 20% off sale going on right now. So there we go. So another one of these shirts sold and it sold for eight bucks. Happy to see it go. I paid a dollar for it. So it makes it about a $5 profit on that. So this cute little wall hanging gargoyle sold for $8. I spent 75 cents on this at a garage sale. Next up is this pink hand-blown glass egg. I took an offer of $9. I've been taking a lot of offers lately on things because it's been slow, whether it's recession, whether it's just January, I don't know, but it's good for me to keep my inventory moving. And so I was happy to take an offer on this. This is one of those cards. I, you see them every now and then pop up in my sales and I got a box of, they were like flashcards, right? That look like this. And I paid for four or four, four ninety nine 99 for the box at Goodwill. And when I got home there, there were two letters missing. And so I decided now the whole box, mind you, was selling for about $25 for the entire set. So because it was missing a couple, I thought these are pretty cool. I mean, they were like this big and I thought they are pretty cute that somebody might want to frame them as, as a uh, nursery art. So I uh, put that in my title nursery art and have been selling them one off, you know, just based on the letters. Uh, and so about 10, between 10 and $15 a piece. So this one sold for $10. This uh, Matryoshka sold nesting doll. I had a nesting doll collection somewhere from my grandmother, some were mine, and I had so many nesting dolls and they were just taking up space. As I said, I'm downsizing a lot of stuff. And this one actually didn't have any more inside it. So it was just this one particular doll and it sold for $9.99. This is a button uh, from my big giant button lot that I got for $25 and uh, it sold for $11.99. Now you might notice that these sales are going back and forth between eBay, Etsy, and Mercari. You can tell by the, by the layout of the, the sale the page. Um, and I do cross post all my items. I use list perfectly. And so if you're interested, I have a coupon code. It's a site where I can put in all my listings and I can cross post it to all the different platforms that I use. They also, you know, post to Facebook marketplace, Poshmark all over the place. So, and then this Fila, um, hip sack sold for $13 again, took a best offer on that. I haven't had it up for very long, but as I said, you know, I want to keep some things moving, keep sales coming in. And this is one of those things that I decided to go ahead and let go of for 13 bucks. This is a button that I got at a garage sale. This was 25 cents and I took an offer of $13 on it. It's kind of an iridescent um, New Orleans Saints button. 
And then this is a book about Kung Fu that was given to me and I took an offer of $15 on that. I've been selling some of those as well. Another one of my nesting dolls sold for $15. This was also in my collection. This Pyrex Forest Fancies lid, um, bowl rather sold no lid for $15 and I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. Another one of the buttons sold from my uh, big pin lot that I got for $25. There was probably like 500 pins in there at least. So I've been selling them pretty steadily and they've made a quite a bit of profit. So this sold for $16.99. Another button sold, same, I think they're all going to the same buyer. This one also sold for $16.99. Those, uh, they're sitting on my table in there to be boxed up. So they're my latest, some of my latest sales. This is the Guess Who button sold for $16.99, also from that big lot that I bought for $25. And these are some red aspen nails. Um, I used to wear those nails and I would get points and get extra nails. And so I had a bunch left over. I still have some. And so I've been st selling them off pretty steadily. And these sold for $18. This Cole Han purse sold for $20. And I believe I paid three or $4 for this at the Goodwill. This Erie magazine sold for $19.99. This was in that big lot of magazines and comics that Juan and I picked up for 60 or 65 bucks. It was full of National Geo, not National Geographic, National Lampoons, um, Mad, Eerie, Psycho, like horror magazines. It had a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, and this one sold for 20 bucks. This little owl I bought ages ago oh gosh probably 10 years ago because i just thought i was cute and as i said i'm downsizing things around the house and that was just one of the things that was culled from all of the stuff that i am selling or sold for 20 bucks i don't remember what i paid for it i just don't remember this was something that was in my grandmother's stuff she had a whole lot of silver plate things that i I just held on to and as I said I'm downsizing it was just all this stuff up in the closet and I'm like why am I keeping all of this silver plate stuff I'm not gonna use it and so I decided I would start picking through it to sell some of it and this is one of the things that sold for $19.99 this Sony Discman CD player sold for $19.99 as well and I believe I paid about $1.50 to $2 for this at a garage sale. This Mondo book, The Art of Soundtracks, this one was actually in that same lot with the Erie magazine. So there were also some books, art books and things like that in that big lot that we paid um, 60 or $65. I have to go back and watch the, the video where we got them all because I, sometimes I can't remember. Then this, I got this in New Orleans when we took a road trip to New Orleans and did some thrifting there. And I got this for $2 at, I can't remember the America, America's Thrift, American Thrift. I can't remember what it was called exactly. And it sold for $24. Another Pyrex bowl sold. This one I got at a garage sale for $3 and it sold for $29.99. This is another book that was in that big lot of comics and magazines. This is The Erotic Art of Reed Waller and it sold for $32. I picked up this Vera Bradley purse and little coin purse for $5 at a garage sale and it sold for $59.99. This was one of the nesting dolls that I had in my collection that was part of my grandmother's dolls, her nesting dolls and it sold for $124. So this was a Madame Alexander. So it had a Madame Alexander doll and a little nesting doll inside of the big one, like so. And it sold for $124. Leave a comment and let me know something that you have sold lately. And if you enjoy videos like this, where I share different things that have sold, then check out this playlist that I've created for you here. And this is a video that YouTube thinks you will like. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.